Jill Schulte. I'm an Implementation Specialist at the Clearinghouse for Military Family Readiness at Penn State University, and my background is in youth and family education. We would like to thank you for clicking on this podcast, and we hope that you find it useful. Okay, let's begin. During this presentation, I will briefly walk you through an example of a technical assistance request received by the Clearinghouse. We hope this will assist you in gathering a better understanding of the types of services the Clearinghouse offers to professionals working with military families. We at the Clearinghouse receive various technical assistance requests, especially around the area of program implementation. We recently received a request from a professional implementing the Incredible Years Basic Parent Program. This is a three-part program designed to teach parents of children ages 6 to 12 the importance of implementing positive behaviors with their children. This professional was having difficulty recruiting parents to attend the program and was looking for some assistance in increasing program participation. In response to this request, our TA team identified a number of recruitment and retention strategies to assist this individual in increasing participation among parents in the program. Some recruitment strategies we provided to this individual include obtaining re parent referrals from the local Children and Youth Services Agency, Head Start, School, Child Care Center, or from parents who have previously participated in the program. Another way to recruit parents is to promote the program at school events, such as school orientation or school conferences. Not only is it important to implement parent recruitment strategies, but it's even more important to implement strategies that increase parent retention. Some retention strategies provided include conduct a survey with interested parents to determine the best days and times to hold program sessions. We all know that parents are busy, so it's really important that we find a time that works for them. Calling parents before each session to remind them of session dates and session times. Implementing a buddy system where parents are responsible for calling other parents before each session. Providing tra transportation or transportation resources. Offering child care and providing meals during sessions. And using incentives for participating, such as gift cards, door prizes, providing certificates to parents for completing the program, and offering a celebration party for program completion. The hope is that once parents see the benefits of the program, they will become engaged and be more likely to attend program sessions. However, these retention strategies will hopefully also assist you in retaining parents. This was just one example of the various technical assistance services the Clearinghouse provides. If you are interested in technical assistance or interested in information on programs, we can help you. You can reach us by phone at 1-877-382-9185, by email at clearinghouse at psu.edu. We also have a live chat on our website, and it's manned Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, and we may also conduct site visits as approved by the Department of Defense. That concludes this session. Thank you for your interest in the Clearinghouse, and please look for future podcasts on other topics.